everyone, Morgan and Baby Rogue here. She just refused to let me do this video without her. So um, this is a very important subject to her heart, you know? Um, so anyway. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to water purification, um, there's the water purification method. Yes, uh, we're gonna be talking about this in just a second. There is the water purification method of uh, charcoal, sand, and rocks. Now, there is a big difference between activated charcoal and charcoal, okay? She is dying to get to this whiteboard. So we're gonna go over some of the differences here and I'm gonna get a little closer since it's a, since it's a little smaller whiteboard than we're used to. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone, you can see my reflection. <laughs> okay, so charcoal, um, it can remove chlorine, it can remove odors, and it can be cooked with. You know, charcoal has a lot of uh, positives to it, but the only way charcoal can be made is obviously with fire. Activated charcoal is what you find in your everyday uh, water filters now. The ones in your refrigerator, the water uh, straws, like every single water purification method these days uses an activated charcoal. So activated charcoal removes toxins, chemicals, and gases, and it goes through a special process. So doing it yourself is not 100% effective um, than what you would get by, uh, you know, a manufacturer making it, but it can, it will still do the basic um, removal of toxins and chemicals and gases. <laughs> And that's Ember having a ball down there, so don't worry about it. Uh, so the process is simple. So you make charcoal, just like, you know, with a fire or whatever. Then you powder it up. Um, normally, I think they would make it into little small chunks, but if you're doing it yourself, you want to make it an actual powder. And then you're going to take 25% solution of calcium chloride, and then you're going to weigh three parts water and mix in one part calcium chloride. That's how you make the solution. So then uh, you make the paste with the above. So you make the paste with the 25% uh, solution of calcium chloride and the uh, powdered charcoal. And then um, you're going to spread the paste out to dry uh, in the house is fine. Then you're gonna rinse it with clean water, okay? And then you're gonna bake it at 225 degrees for 30 minutes. And that's how you would make your own activated charcoal. Not too difficult, but it is time consuming. And there are lots of different ways to make activated charcoal too. This is just one pretty easy way that I found. So activated charcoal and charcoal are not the same things at all. And you know, obviously if you're in a survival situation, you know, and you need to use, all you have is just charcoal, rocks and sand, um, fine, or dirt. Uh, I believe dirt will work as well if you don't have sand around, or if you wanna just, you know, it just has to have, go through that little simple filtration system. Sand obviously works better, but um, you can use dirt as well. Um, anyway, so if you're in a survival situation, all you have is just regular charcoal, of course, <laughs> that's ember. Of course, it will uh, get rid of, you know, chlorine and odors, but the rest of the processing, the sand or the dirt and then the rocks um, is going to remove, um, you know, more stuff. But the activated charcoal is really the way that you want to go. Of course, you know, you'd have to make it ahead of time um, in a survival situation, you know, unless you stopped calcium chloride or had a way to bake it at 225 degrees or dehydrated it maybe in the sun if it was really warm, dehydrated it, <laughs> uh, dehydrate it. Uh, maybe if it was in the sun again um, for 30 minutes, but it had to be much longer than 30 minutes. You know, it's just, it's all these things to consider. You know, um, I just think that a lot of people get charcoal and activated charcoal mixed up, or they don't think that there's a difference, or they think that purification straws and uh, water purification methods only take regular charcoal, but it's activated charcoal that you're actually getting and it's a big difference. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. And uh, if you wanna learn more, go ahead and Google it. That's where you're gonna find a lot of info, but I just wanted to give this quick, uh, quick rundown here. Are you ready for your close up? No, you just wanna to touch it? <laughs> Hi. See you later, bud.